Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 33 of Let's Play Chrono Trigger, brought to you by MuchGames.ca. Okay, we finally made it to the uh, continent of Chorus, which we've never been to before because we had no other access to it. So, why don't we do a bit of shopping while we're at it? Before we begin our next side quest. Yeah, I think that's enough for now, because you're not going to get any equipment here. Not that we really need it at this point in time. So we might as well just see what's going on. Oh, why do these guys look so familiar? And they're only trainees. Their boss is at his favorite cafe. Probably the only cafe on this entire island. Ah, Thomas here! Hey, Chrono! I finally got a lead on the rainbow shell. But there's something odd going on. Oh, can you hang on to this for me? A can of soda? If I don't return, come to my grave and pour this on my headstone. Gee, isn't this morbid? Yeah, so many calories in that pop. My tools have been stolen! I can't get any work done now! He's an adventurer. Let him go, woman. Ten years ago, a beast was seen carrying something into the northern ruins. Treasure, perhaps? Hmm... I wonder what could be carried over to the northern ruins. I do remember there was something about a ghost. For some lofty knight that was slain by Magus, so it could be Cyrus. That being said, we still need to do some investigation to know what for sure what it is. The black omen sparkles in the sun. Tomorrow should be clearer too. Something eerie about the northern ruins? Yeah, I should definitely go check that out now. Supposed to look like some kind of castle. It looks very dilapidated. Oh, there's a couple enemies here. These are called sentries. Now, if I were you, use magic on them. Because physical attacks will be useless. I believe they're supposed to be ghosts. Um, did I not do enough damage? Ooh, jeez, that's a lot of damage. I just got inflicted with here. Up, oh, Chrono missed out on experience, unfortunately. Fire tackle. Ooh, interesting. Okay, we really need to heal up. Well, Chrono needs to heal up. I didn't think it'd be that damaging. And look what we gotta do. We gotta take him out again. Okay, I see a treasure chest, but that door over there, we can't get to it because of a hole. I wonder if we can find a way across it. Ah, MP Buster. Okay, so it's not always going to be grudge. Sometimes you may not get a counter at all. Fire Zone. Nice. All right, we got a hyper ether. Oh, we can't leave and ah, it's an ambush. Okay, now we gotta deal with these sent. Ooh, jeez, that's a ton of damage. Okay, fire tackle doesn't hit everyone, so I'm gonna have Luca use flare this time. Remember, I have no MP on Chrono, so it's not like I can use Luminaire again. Ooh, jeez, Flare is powerful. Uh, she doesn't have any more MP. Just like that, we win. I think there was only three enemies you gotta deal with in this place. And you're gonna find out why clearing out enemies is very important. Okay, we can't go that way. So, the only thing we can do is we should head back to 1000 AD. So let's do that. Because whatever you do in the past is going to affect the present. That being said, oh, there's a grave over there. Cleared out the forest. So I should definitely check it out. The great adventurer Toma Levine rests here. Well, at least he lived another 34 years in the Middle Ages. He did say to pour some uh, pop on his grave. 
we actually managed to hold on to this whole thing. Ah, there he is. Rono! Long time no see! I've located the rainbow shell. To the northwest of this cape is a large island called the Giant's Claw. You can find the shell there. Okay, even if you didn't pour the soda on the grave, even though you wouldn't see an opening, you can still get in there. But beware, there are many beasts about. Time to shove off. Alright, we managed to, like, uh, bring a soul to rest. We're alright a minute. Oh, yeah, if you check behind the grave, there's actually a speed tab. Just thought I'd let you know. Oh, yeah, I forgot to actually use it. I could have swore I hit organize at that time. Um, yeah, I'll give it to Chrono. Alright, so, let's check out Chorus in the year 1000 AD. It's gonna look a little different, of course. Yeah, structural damage is severe, not to mention there's a ghost. Yeah, the ghost, of course. Huh, <laughs> brain dead. Huh, <laughs> just like the relative, another one talking about the Black Omen. So, there's something to do with negative energy related to the ghosts in the ruins that we really need to investigate. But first, I'm gonna sleep at the inn. Ten gold a night? Man, that's cheap. Why would Robo sleep in a bed? Seriously, makes no sense. Had enough sugar. <laughs> yeah, I can tell you do. Okay, but I gotta borrow these tools. Uh, no? A ghost knight roams the northern ruins. Yeah, it's a bit of a trip. They love the Millennial Fair, of course. He only failed to find the rainbow shell. Um, what do you got? Well, this doesn't seem that great to me. Full tonics, however, I suppose I can buy a few more. So yeah, if you went to the northern ruins, you're gonna find a ghost. My husband's never around, I'm gonna show him his blah 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 blah. Let me take the tools. Why don't we just store that on top of the fridge anyway? I can think of a better place to put tools. Hmm, actually not really, I mean... Well, maybe you can put them in the cupboard. So yeah, if you go to the Northern Ruins, you're not gonna get very far, because this ghost is just gonna stop you. And you can fight him, but you will lose every single time. Like, you won't die, it'll just be a draw. You won't be able to damage him. He can damage you, but if you don't die, then the battle stops after a few turns. Frog will recognize him, but he'll still be in anguish, so you can't really do anything. I should definitely go see the boss, now that I got tools. Sure, I'll lend a tool to a tool. Finally get to work on the ruins, nice! So yeah, that's what you need the tools for, to actually fix up the ruins. Now, if you left the monsters alone like those sentries over there, he's not gonna do anything because there are monsters, and he's gonna leave. You have to clear out the monsters, and then you can go on. Camera prepare the spots where the monsters hide. Okay. I'll take care of that. Can I go to that door now? Excuse me? There, there, there were no monsters there. What I don't get is that he decides to go this way. I clear out the monsters. But look, I mean, if I go back to him to fix up that other hole, he's not going to come back to it. Which makes no sense. You'd think he just picks up that hole over there on the left side because there were no monsters. And you gotta pay 2,000 gold each time. So he's going to fix up that hole over there to the west? He should, because there are no monsters. We cleared them out. Can't the spots where the monsters hide, yeah. 
As soon as we clear our monsters, we gotta go back to him, paying another 2,000 gold, and then he'll fix up the rest. Okay, fair enough. Then he fixes up the hole here. That's good. And there's a grave. So, we should definitely bring in Frog for this. He's very important to this entire mission. The Fool of Challenge Magus rests here. Who wrote that on the grave anyway? Was it Frog? Cyrus, I hath returned. I shall honor my promise to thee. By writing that he was a fool? So that's two weird graves that we saw. One reacted to Soda Pop, the other one reacts to the Masamune. Cyrus! Glenn, thank you for making the journey here. Dear Cyrus, thou must think ill of me. On the contrary, you have come far, my friend. When Magus defeated me, I thought of all those whom I've left behind. King Guardia, Queen Lean, and of course, you. Cyrus! Your skill and dedication is superior. I can rest now, knowing that everyone is in good hands. Goodbye, my friend. Cyrus, wait! I... I... And he's gone. The Queen... Look after Queen Lean. Alas, and farewell. Cyrus! Dude, he's already dead. I'm so sorry, Cyrus. Huh? The Masamune? Oh, it's reacting. <laughs> That's it. That was special. Quite. I guess it means that a hero's power power comes from within. Mucho metaphysical, man. Like mind over matter, Mune. My mind? Now for a yummy full-on test. Expression time! Alright, so with that, the Masamune actually gets stronger. Just flowing with strength and vigor. Ah, just the true identity of the Masamune. Cyrus, I promise to fulfill your wishes. Tis a sad farewell. Onward all! Alright, so as we can see, the Masamune actually increases in strength much better than the Brave Sword now. So yeah, we're better off keeping the Hero Medal on Frog for the rest of the game, because the Masamune is much stronger. In fact, I believe it's now going to be Frog's strongest weapon in his entire run. You know, we haven't even checked out the uh, eastern side of the ruins. We might want to do that. Oh, great, a lot of corpses. Yeah, I think we should clear them out now. Two different kinds, mind you. Defunct and Reaper. Don't fear those Reapers, guys. We'll easily take them out. Oh my god, they're still alive. Alright, let's try a fire two this time. Seeing as how they're undead. Ooh, just fire two alone is devastating. If I use flare, then I'll probably one shot him. It's not worth it, I mean, really. Or maybe it will be worth it. Let's find out. I'm gonna let Luca use Flare. If I can kill him in one hit, then I'll definitely be using that instead. Oh my god, look at that damage! Maybe I should be giving her the Gold Stud. 
Hold on, did I power up her magic in any way? Magic scarf. That might explain it. Why her magic is so high. Alright, so once we clear those up, we should be able to patch up more spots of land in the ruins. Perfect. I think that's all of them. So now it's just a matter of going back to the carpenter and getting this stuff patched up. So let's head there right now. We're done with the left side, so all we have to do is just finish off the right. I wonder if you actually went over to patch up a spot in the ruins, there was still monsters, and then he left. Will he actually refund you the 2,000 gold? Because, well, we were gonna patch it up, but there were still enemies. Or does he just keep the money? If he keeps the money, then he's an absolute scumbag. You know, let me tell you that much right now. I'm pretty sure they didn't have any, like, contractor laws back in the Middle Ages that we do now. But that's neither here nor there at this point. Yeah, so the Northern Ruins is now called Hero's Grave. So yeah, if we go back there in a 1000 AD, that ghost is going to be gone. Because he's been put to rest. However, we're not done here yet. Okay, we got an elixir. That's not bad. Ooh, treasure chest. No. Yep, it's another one of those times that if you go back to the present after refusing the first time, this item will level up. Just another one of those times. And another one of those times where Luca goes to work and kicks some ass. Just as she always does. You know, maybe I should just take Frog out. And I'll probably put in Ayla for a bit. Not because she needs to be there, but I might get some du dual or triple techs. Oh, here are some new enemies! These are called bases. I mean, we fought acid before, and now we gotta take on base. Is Flare good against them? Yep, it is. They got very good defense. Okay, no uh, dual tech there. So once we take out these enemies, that's all of them in the entire ruins. So with that, that's going to be our last battle. Now we see these two chests, of course we gotta refuse them at first. Go back to them in the present, and there you go. There's actually some very good equipment in these three chests. Refuse. And refuse. So now all we gotta do is just go back to the present. Now in the present time, there are actually no enemies here at all. So you're going to have a very easy time, just got to go to those chests, and there you go. And then we'd be done. I really should have parked Epoch right next to the ruins. Yeah, I don't even know why I keep calling them ruins, they're no longer ruins. They're fixed up. Of course, I don't really understand why the carpenters just left the holes there, in the main hallway. Could have at least cleaned that up. I mean, look, the holes are still there. It's ridiculous. So with that, I'll take the spoils. The Nova armor levels up to become moon armor. I'll check that out later on. Of course, I can still get the Nova armor back in the Middle Ages if I want to. Which I probably will. The Kali Blade levels up to be the Shiva Edge. Of course, related to Hindu gods. 
Then the Siren levels up to become the Valkyrie. Awesome. So that's going to be a good weapon for Marley. Okay, the Shiva Edge gives you four times the damage at critical. Wow, sign me up. Oh yeah, the Moon Armor. Magic Defense goes up by 10. Jeez, this is just getting better and better. Okay, the Valkyrie, I don't know what's spelled like that. Doesn't give you anything extra, but that attack power really, really boosts up. But I'm kind of curious as to what special abilities the uh, Nova Armor, the Kali Blade, and the Siren have. Because, you know, if they give you, like, a special ability, they, they're nice as well, even if they're weaker. Only one way to find out, right? I'll meet you at the chests. Okay, I finally opened up those chests, so the Kali Blade... Yeah, it doesn't really offer anything special. The Nova Armor does protect your status, so it's actually a good piece of equipment all by itself as well. But who should I give it to? Probably give it to Frog. So I'll give him the Nova Armor. And the uh, Siren. Random stop. Attack power severely goes down. Much better than the Sonic Arrow still. But causing random stop might actually be good all in its own right. So, whatever you want to equip on Marley is up to you. That being said, I'm going to stop the video here, and then the next part, I think the next quest we're going to do is related to Magus, and we're going to deal with Odyssey. See you later, everyone. Thanks for watching.